Welcome Year 7. This is Lesson 2 in our Energy uh, Booklet. Um, we have here, use the pictures below to list the different forms of energy shown. And we can see a speeding bullet. Now, a speeding bullet will have GPE, gravitational potential energy, because it is above the ground and it also has a tremendous amount of kinetic energy as well. Let's move on to the next one. A working light bulb. Now, as long as you can justify what you have highlighted, then there's no problem with this. So the working light bulb, it obviously needs electrical energy to work. It provides light and a small amount of wasted heat. Um, you may have heard light bulbs making a, a small noise before. So you could, in theory, write down sound. And light bulbs tend to be in the ceiling. So they are held above the ground. So you could include, I guess, GPE as well. But the three main ones that we need to worry about here is light, heat, and electrical. Let us move on. The stretched bow. Plenty of stored elastic here. A lot of elastic in the bow itself. And it's made of wood or other materials. So there will be stored chemical energy as well. Picture four. An atomic bomb. Made of metal and other substances as well. So there's definitely stored chemical in there. Certainly a lot of stored nuclear energy. Um, it's yet to be dropped. So... It's stationary at the moment, so kinetic, no. Will there be electrical wires in, in this uh, bomb? Probably, so possibly that. So they're the first four. The next four, you can have a go at. So the sparkler, you choose. You write down which different forms of energy are in the sparkler. Have a go at the strawberry. Have a go at this uh, individual climbing up some rocks. And finally, you may or may not have heard of this person. Elvis Presley is singing. What type of forms of energy do these different pictures show? Once you have finished those eight diagrams, these pictures and uh, written up the different forms of energy, there is an energy word search. It's the homework. So um, let's go through um, this word search now. Uh, find the following words in the puzzle. Here are the words. We've got these four down here, these four here, and this one here. So it's out of nine marks. I'm going to help you out with one of them. Gravitational. There it is. Gravitational. Grav. Gravitational. Best of luck finding out what the answers are with that. Right, electrical appliances. Electrical appliances that we use in the home often have a three pin plug. One, two, three. These appliances change or transform electrical energy into other types of energy. Have a read through questions one, two, and three, and see if you can't come up with the answers whilst I pause the video temporarily. I wonder whether you got the right answers. Name the energy type that allows the uh, drill to work. That'll be electric. Watch how you spell electric. Question two, name a useful type of energy produced by the drill. Movement or the posh 
scientific word, kinetic. And two wasted types of energy. Surely you got sound. But the drill bit will also get very, very hot. And finally, electrical appliances. In the spider diagram below, add two everyday electrical appliances next to each circled word. The appliances must usefully produce these energy types when switched on. So for example, let us think about heat. Can you think about an appliance that usefully produces heat? Think about the kitchen. I'm going to write down an answer in five, four, three, two, one. There's my first one, a toaster. That's number one. I also need a number two. I also need a number one and two for the light and useful sound and useful movement or kinetic energy. Anyway, that's it for lesson two. Well done today.